everyone, Fed here, and welcome to part three of the Mirror HQ build from Among Us inside of Minecraft. Now, we have a pretty good amount done so far. The office isn't done yet. That was actually done in part two, but the video was too long, so I scrapped it. And I'm going to put it into this one at the beginning. So if you're wondering, like, wait, we didn't do office yet. Well, now you're about to see it right now. So, you know, what? I'm going to jump into it right now. I don't want to talk too long because I would love to get the rest of this done in part three. And you know what? I feel like we have enough time to maybe squeeze office in here. I, I'm looking at my recording right now. It says I still have 10 minutes. Uh, I like to do about an hour and then, you know, rent edit it. <laughs> so I feel like I have enough time to maybe get office in here as well. But we're not going to do a layout then. We're just going to count it out. And it's going to be the same size as admin as well for later on. So we're just going to come right here to the opening of where our office is going to be. Take out our great concrete and count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks. And now go ahead and just connect both corners to each other. Like that. Next up, we're going to take out some polished diorite and fill in this entire floor with polished diorite. There we go. Once we have our flooring in place, I want you to take out blue terracotta. And for the entire wall, we're going to come up four blue terracotta, capping it off with our gray concrete around the entire thing. So now that we have our flooring and walling in place, we can get started up on the decorations. So the items we'll need for the decorations are spruce wood stairs, dark oak wood stairs, polished blackstone stairs, paintings, iron bars, item frames, stone buttons, smooth stone, and we're also going to need polished blackstone buttons. So first off, come over here to the back end side closest to where greenhouse is going to be going. And we're going to take out our spruce wood stairs and place two in upside down right here and two slabs upside down. That's the reason why I want to do that, just to make all the tables and get the tables out of the way like that. Place a dark oak wood stair backwards going into it. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, off the corner, come one in, take out your spruce wood stairs, place in two sideways, upside down, place in two slabs, and then two more upside down right next to it. And then place in your staircase backwards for some seating. Then over here on the corner that leads out into the hallway, we're gonna do another table right here. So one, two slabs in the middle, and then two staircases on the sides like that. And ooh, did I do that wrong? Yes, I did. <laughs> it goes like that. There we go. And then make sure to place in your dark oak wood stair backwards. There we go. And that'll be another table done. Next up, we're going to swing over here to this corner. And we're going to take out our stairs once again. And we're going to come over here and come out two block, well, three blocks from this side and one block from that side. So one, two, three. And then make sure you just come out one block from over here and place in a staircase upside down. Like that. Place in yet again another two staircases upside down. One, two. Next up, come out three slabs from here. One, two, three. Like that. Connecting them all together. And now off of this side, we're going to place a staircase in upside down sideways. Upside down sideways. And then another slab right here. Next up, take out your dark oak wood stairs. And we're going to make some chairs. So we're going to place one right here. And one right here, like that. Then from this seating, we're going to count over four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then just come over towards the wall. Place a block up here. And place a staircase upside down. Place another one upside down right here. Then we're going to come out two slabs. One, two. One, two. And then place in two more staircases right here. Upside down. And that's going to be all the tables and chairs in this room completely done. Now we can go ahead and start working on some of the computers. So off of this big one right here, we're going to take out some polished blackstone stairs. And we're going to place in two backwards right here with a one by two painting off the front of it. Really doesn't matter what it is. We don't need to get that black and white one. And then place in iron bars inside an item frame with a button next to it. Then we're going to swing over here to this table and do the same thing. Place in two polished blackstone stairs with a one by two painting. <laughs> Now let's try to get a different one. There we go. With an item frame here, iron bars on its side, button. And you know what? We're going to start needing some other things. So let's go ahead and get rid of the wood to get a couple of more items for decoration. And I almost forgot right here in front of this computer, we're going to have an orange concrete block. So now we can get rid of that. <laughs> and now right up here next to this computer, we're going to place it in a flower pot. Now off of this table right here, we're going to place in two smooth stone blocks. One, two. 
uh, an item frame right here. Blackstone button. I don't know why I got rid of my blackstone buttons. And we're also going to need a creeper head as well. So a blackstone button right here. And then we're going to place in a creeper head sideways and backwards off of this one like that. Then up here on these two, we're going to do the same thing once again. Two polished blackstone stairs here. Two polished blackstone stairs here. Make a one by two painting. Really doesn't matter what it is. So let's see. I want to get something different. There we go. Creeper. <laughs> and for this one, let's see what we get out of this one. Uh, I'll, I'll take that one. That's fine. And then we're going to place an iron frame. Iron bars, make sure they're turned to the side. Place in your stone button. And same thing on this one. Item frame, iron bars, button. And then on the side of this computer is going to be a flower pot. And then also right next to this computer, right here, we're going to have a one by two painting. So just place any block there and make a one by two painting like that. Then right here in the middle of these two desks, we're going to break out this block and we're going to need a yellow concrete block, which I have right over here. So let me go ahead and just steal this real quick. And come back. This is going to be where you fix electrical. So let's go ahead and place that there. And place an item frame right in the middle. And now, last but not least, we are going to need some end rods, smooth stone slabs, black concrete, stone brick walls, and item frames. So right here next to this table, we're going to place in an end rod right here. Place an end rod right on top of that one. Place a smooth stone slab right on top of that end rod. And then one upside down right next to this one, like that. And that's going to make, I guess, a light. <laughs> kind of looks like one, but uh, well, there we go. And then over here, we're going to count down four blocks from the corner of this table. One, two, three, four. Break it. Place in some black concrete, a stone brick wall, and an item frame off of it like that. And that will be the office completely done. So to start things off with part three, with, well, I should say uh, after the office, <laughs> we are going to be doing admin. And I know I've been scrapping all the layouts kind of because I just, it's just too easy. It's too easy. It's going to be the same exact size as the office right over here as well. So we're going to take out our gray concrete like we've been doing this entire video. We're going to come right down here off this gray line and we're going to count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks. And then go ahead and just wrap it right up and connect it in to the other side of the hallway. Sorry. <laughs> I just woke up this morning. Uh, I was doing the other one last night and I woke up this morning and now my head's just like, eh. <laughs> you got a good night's sleep, FedEx. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I sound like I have a stuffy nose. I'm still getting over uh, being sick. So I think it's starting to go away. I'm just having like, you know, head colds and things like that right now, but <laughs> which is still bad. But we're going to need for the walls of admin, we're going to need a green terracotta and gray concrete. So we're going to bring it up four blocks, one, two, three, four green terracotta, and then cap it off with our gray concrete around the entire room. Now for the flooring of admin, we're going to need a lime terracotta, dark prismarine slabs, and dark prismarine. Now this floor is going to be a little bit weird because the middle is going to be lower than the rest of the sides. Kind of like a uh, reactor over there. <laughs> Trying to look for it for a second. There's reactor. So we're going to take out our lime terracotta. And what I want you to do is right off the area where we come into admin, we're going to come out four blocks with lime terracotta. One, two, three, four. And we're going to fill this all in for the entrance to the area like that. Next up on the last one, we're gonna come out two blocks on both sides. There we go. Then we're gonna come down one like this. Then next up, we're just gonna come out five blocks off the corner. So come out one like that. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do the same thing we did over there. We're just gonna come down like that and bring it all the way down. And same thing on this side, just come out one and go over five. One, two, three, four, five. Not like that. <laughs> and connect them together and then go ahead and fill in this whole middle area with your lime terracotta there we go next up we're going to take out our dark prismarine slabs and we're going to place that all the way around our terracotta so just go all the way down and go around the entire layer of lime terracotta with your prismarine slabs There we go, and it should look something like this. And now for the rest of the area, we're gonna take out our dark prismarine and fill in the rest of the area right next to those slabs with our regular prismarine blocks. So now it's time to get started up on the decorations. And now for the middle area with the table and that little computer thing where you could do some tasks, you're going to need a light gray concrete, item frames, stone buttons, blue carpet, iron bars, levers, white concrete, slime blocks, 
and lime carpet. Now, right in the middle of this kind of oval looking shape, we're going to take out our white concrete. And right from, let's go from the middle over here because it'll be a lot easier off the side of this wall. We're just going to come out one block, one, placing in three white concrete like this. It should match up directly with your entrance. Then we're going to come out three on this side, one, two, three, three on this side, one, two, three, and three on this side, filling in the entire middle with slime blocks. Next up right here off the front where we walk in, we're going to place a lime carpet off this block. Take out your light gray concrete and place in five blocks of light gray concrete like this. Place in an item frame here, a button here, blue carpet, another item frame, but this time place iron bars in it. Make sure they're facing that way. And then a lever facing towards those iron bars. And that's going to be the table right in the middle. Now for the decorations on the back wall over here that is near a greenhouse, we're going to basically need about the same stuff here, except now we're going to need some smooth stone and some smooth stone slabs. So starting over here from this side, we're going to come one block in, placing in two slabs, place a smooth stone here, two smooth stones on top, two light gray concretes, and two stone buttons. And then right on top, we are going to need some gray carpet. So let's take out some light gray carpet and place that right on top of that as well. Then one block away from that, we're going to place in an item frame, come over one block again, and then down and take out your light gray concrete and place in one, two, three light gray concretes, skip a block, and then place in one, two, three, and then over here, one, two, three, just like that. And then on top of this corner, we're going to place a button, and now we're going to need our lime green once again, place in two right here, place a lever facing this way. We're going to need our blue carpet once again, so we can go ahead and grab it over here. Place in a blue carpet here, a blue carpet here, item frame here with our iron bars. Make sure they are turned to the side. And then another button like that. And now on this wall, it's going to change up just a little bit. We are going to need some blue ice. And we are also going to need some stone stairs. So starting right from where this button is, we're going to take out our stone stairs. Break out one, two, three, four, five. Placing stone stairs upside down. Then we're going to break out these two as well. Place your blue ice off of your stone stairs. And then place your stone stairs above your blue ice. And that's going to be that wall completely done. Next up, we're going to swing over here to the backhand side. Pull out our light gray concrete once again. And we're going to skip over three blocks. Well, four blocks from this corner. One, two, three, four. Placing light gray concrete. And just bring it down so it's three blocks away from that wall as well. Then right in the middle, we're going to place in some blue carpet. Then we're going to need our item frame. So just take out an item frame and place an item frame on both sides with iron bars inside both of them. Place two stone buttons on this side, a lever facing towards this item frame, and another button right here. And then last but not least, we're going to need to take out a birch trap door. And right over here in this corner, we're going to break out the middle block and place in our birch trap door right here for events later on once we're done building the entire build. And that's going to be admin completely done. Next up on the list is going to be greenhouse, which is actually my favorite room inside this entire build. <laughs> I don't, I just really love the way greenhouse looks. So, you know, here's a little top down view of it. I know I'm not doing the layouts. I'm being a little lazy with this uh, build because everything's pretty simple and straightforward. As you can see right there, it's just six, three, two, two, one, two, two, six. It's it's just a half a circle, guys. It's <laughs> The whole build is pretty easy, to be, be honest. But for this build, we're going to need a light gray concrete and glass for both the walling and the ceiling. Because the cool thing about this build is everything is glass. And then the underneath has like these cool like bars. So, you know, we're also going to need white concrete for this as well. So let me go ahead and come over here and grab some white concrete as well. So now it's going to go off the sides of both the office and admin. So it's very easy to find where we have to go with this. So just come over to whichever corner you want. It really doesn't matter because it's the exact same. I'm going to come right here off the side of office. I'm going to count over seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you can see, we are using the light gray concrete, not the dark gray concrete. And you know, what? we're actually going to have to switch these out as well to light gray because we will be able to see through the map. And we're also going to get rid of the layout as well if you built the layout. Now we're going to go from here. Once we go those seven blocks up, we're going to come over one and up three, over one and up two, two, one. And now we're going to do the exact same thing we just did here, but going this way towards admin. So now it's going to go two, two, three. And this one might not be seven. This might be 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven. 
and then we're gonna do the same thing we did there so three two two one and then same thing again two two three and seven right back into the wall and then we're also going to have to remove this dark gray concrete and switch it out with light gray and that's going to be the entire starting point of greenhouse and then of course we are actually going to have to go around switching if you did the layout you're going to have to switch it over to light gray so go ahead and do that now And there we go. Next up, I want you to take out glass and we're going to fill in this entire area with glass. Once you have your floor in place, go ahead and take out your light gray concrete. And wherever you see three blocks, see one, two, three, we're going to come up five light gray concrete at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing on this side. Wherever you see the third one, just come over one, two, three, and come up your five light gray concrete. And do the same thing on this side. Find the third one. One, two, three. Oh, I think I did that on the wrong side. No, I did. Okay, I did it on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. And same thing over here on the third one. One, two, three, four, five. Now what I want you to do is take out your glass and fill in, well, the rest of the whole entire area on top of your light gray concrete up five blocks with glass. And there we go. Now we're going to do probably one of the most annoying parts of this whole entire build is we actually have to go underneath it and build looking straight up. And this, for some reason, always hurts my eyes when I do this. But we're going to have to take out our white concrete and starting from where, I guess, where your layout would be if you did the layout. But it's going to be two blocks over from that corner. See, one, two, right there where admin is. And, you know, one, two over here where office is. It doesn't really matter. Just start over on the second block, placing in your white concrete. And now bring that up on an arch like that and it should connect to both sides that come out too on the office and the admin and we're going to start from there and now basically bring whichever line you want all the way up until you reach the other side of the greenhouse because there's those interchanging kind of like bottom areas <laughs> in the greenhouse i don't know really how to explain it kind of like bars that's holding the glass up so it doesn't break i guess but i mean it is just a video game so it, <laughs> you don't really need that but here we go. We're just going to bring those all the way up like that. And now the best way to figure out how to find the middle is they will always be one, two, three, four, five blocks from each other. So wherever you find the one that's five blocks from the other one, you're going to do the same thing. Come down like that. And now it should be five blocks from this side. One, two, three, four, five, and bring it right down. And every single square is going to be that size. So again, you know, just come right here, bring it out until it's five blocks away from this one and then bring it right up, making it another square and again <laughs> very annoying to look at this uh, trust me when i did it the first time it was really hurting my brain a little bit so now i'm gonna bring this up right here i don't want to take too long while doing it so that's going to be oh i think i'm yeah i was off there so that's another square so that's gonna be all the squares for there and we're just gonna bring this right down here until it's five blocks away and we could go up this one like this two three bring it back down so it's five blocks five blocks away and I'll just bring this one right up. There we go. Now we can bring this one over. The more you add, start adding in, though, the easier it will get because then you'll have way more than enough. So that's that whole side. Oh, my goodness. This is so annoying to look at. That's a whole side <laughs> completely done. So now if you want to, you can actually bring these lines just going straight up to over there. Sorry if this is hurting your eyes, too. But what I like to do now is just bring these going all the way up. And I might start speed through, uh, speeding the video up here. Because I hope you guys have an understanding of how I am doing this. So we're just going to bring these going all the way up. Like that. There we go. And we could do one more right here. There we go. So as you can see, we can now connect all those lines there. Because we have that area to work with. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to speed through it, guys. Just remember, they should always be five blocks from each other.
And there we go. I'm pretty sure I got it all done correctly. They should all be five blocks from each other. And it should look something like this once the entire thing is completed. And now once you have this greenhouse done, we can actually do the flooring over there for the hallway. Because now what we have to do is just match it up with where our greenhouse is. So right here, five blocks away. It's going to come down right here like this. There we go. And then it's going to come out from here like that. You don't have to go crazy with this one because you won't really be able to see it. So <laughs> we're going to bring this one down right here. Make sure it's always five blocks away from each other. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five. And then we can do another one right here. Goes up. And then it will come down like this. But like I said, you don't really have to go crazy with this one because there's not going to be a lot in there. There we go. So now we'll have like kind of like two X's on the floor. Uh, there we go <laughs> we'll have like those two x's on the floor for in here as well so that's going to be the floor for greenhouse completely done so now let's get started up on the decorations so to get started up on the decorations for greenhouse we are going to need a dark oak leaves composter we're also going to need a case of trap doors dirt poppies a zero bluette i don't know we're gonna need flowers guys <laughs> white tulips corn flowers and flower pots it's, i'm not very good at naming flowers <laughs> so when we walk into this area we're going to count over three blocks from the corner. One, two, three. And we're going to place in a compositor here and then place in three more next to them. One, two, three. Placing our oak leaves right on top of them. Then we're going to take out our acacia trap doors and place acacia trap doors going all the way around it except for over there. I'll show you when we get there. So stop right there. Do not place one right here. And we're going to take out our flower pots and place in one, two, three, four flower pots here. Starting right here next to the compositor, we're going to place in our azure blew it <laughs> then our puppy then our white tulip and then our cornflower right here and then we're gonna do the same thing place in four more one two three four i'm not even gonna say their names because i always mess up on a composter name so there we go come wait what com composter com i'm pretty sure i'm saying that right i feel like i made a video a while ago and i said that and someone's like oh, you said that wrong so i was like i don't even know if i'm saying it right so i can't really defend myself here <laughs> and now we're going to count up three blocks from right here one two three we're going to take out our dirt blocks and we're going to place in four dirt blocks right here one two three four place your trap doors all the way around it this time and dead bushes will be going inside these but we i don't have enough room to hold well actually we don't need the flowers anymore so we don't need those anymore. Do I need this? I, I, you know, I don't even think I need the flower pot anymore. <laughs> so, you know what? Go ahead and take out some dead bushes now. Where are the dead bushes? There they are. You're going to need some dead bushes now. And we're going to place in four dead bushes right inside there. Now, for the next one, we're going to come over two blocks. One, two, actually three. One, two, three, and then up one. So, one, two, three, up one, and then place in four dirt blocks again. Place acacia trap doors around the entire thing. And then go ahead and place in your dead bushes. And don't open that. <laughs> Next up from here, we're going to count up four blocks. One, two, three, four. Take out your composter. Composter. <laughs> and we're going to place in three. One, two, three here. And then we're going to place in one off the left-hand side. So it should look something like that. And then place in your oak leaves right above it. And then go ahead and place your case trap doors around the entire thing. Now for the left-hand side, we're going to start off the same way we did with this one right here. We're going to count in one, two, three blocks, placing in our composter, then three more to the left, acacia doors around it, and then leaves on top. And now for this one, it's not going to be the exact same distance from it. It's actually going to, we're going to start over one block and then we're going to count up our three, one, two, three, placing on our dirt block here and then going four this way. As you can see, it's not even like this one is, it's one over from it. And now we're going to place in our case to trap doors and then our dead bushes. There we go. And now we're going to do the same thing we did over... Well, no. Actually, no. There is no flower pots on this side. That's right. We're just going to count over three blocks. One, two, three. And then place in our composter. And then go over four. Oak leaves on top. And then trap doors around the entire thing. I was, I was about to say, wait a second. No, I don't need the flower pots anymore. That's right. That's why I threw them away. There we go. And now we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to count over three blocks. One, two, three. Placing in our dirt blocks. 
trapdoors around it, and then dead bushes on the inside. There we go. Then from right here on this third one, we're going to count up five blocks going that way. One, two, three, four, five. Compositor. Place in four compositors going this way towards the wall. Take out your oak leaves once again. Place it on top of them. And then trap doors around them. Go. And then from here, we're going to count up to, well, just count up three. One, two, three. There we go. Place in one, two, three, and four dirt blocks like that. Not like that. Like that. <laughs> and then place in your trap doors around them. And then place in your dead bushes. And that's going to be all the flower kind of areas done. And now we're going to do that big incubation chamber with that weird pink and green tree. And then we should be done with greenhouse. All right, guys. So to get started on the big incubation chamber, we're going to need light gray concrete, item frames, light blue stained glass, smooth stone, stone slabs, chains, spruce fences, dark oak leaves, and pink wool. So right when we walk in, we're going to count up 10 blocks that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten now if you did the bottom area with the white concrete right then it should land up directly on that center block and then we're going to come over two on both sides then we're going to come up one on both sides and then come out three one two three come up one come out three one two three come up one come out three just like that now we're going to take out our smooth stone and place smooth stone around the inside There we go. Then we're going to take out our stone slabs and place stone slabs right at the bottom. Next up, we're going to take out our light blue stained glass and come up three on all sides of our smooth stone. Then right above the glass, we're going to place in smooth stone once again. And then right above the smooth stone, we're going to take out our light blue glass and fill in this entire area with light blue glass like that take out your gray concrete once again your light gray concrete and go that and go bleh, and go around all of the glass <laughs> getting a little mixed up now there we go all the way around to the glass so right now we should be looking at something like this from the front then we're gonna come right up here and right in the middle we're gonna come out one two three four slabs place a smooth stone right in the middle and then smooth stone on each end, right here, right here, right here, and right here. And then we'll place chains there as well. And we'll bring this up a little bit more later on, but let's go ahead and get in that weird looking tree thing that's in our incubation chamber. And then off the front right here, we're gonna place an item frame here and right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and break into our glass real quick, take out our spruce fences and place spruce fences going all the way up until we reach the top like that. Now off the left hand side we're going to place in a pink wool block here it should connect to the fence and right up here we're going to place a pink wool block i believe one down right here like that then right here at the front we're going to place a spruce fence right here with an oak leaf on top of it and we go ahead and fill that up right there then we're going to come into the other side over here break out these two glass blocks place in a spruce fence right here with an oak leaf up top like that and then place in your glass just like that. And then actually, I believe right here at the top, uh, did I just break my oak leaves? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I believe right here at the top, I had a, a, a pink wool right here as well. Like that. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> it doesn't do anything anyway. It's just there for decoration. So I don't know why I'm getting so flustered about this. And now we can go ahead and finish this top area right here. So we're going to come up two more smooth stone right here. One, two, bring it over one, come up three, one, two, three like that oh actually just come up two and then bring it up and up like that so it should look something like this and of course when you if you add a ceiling into this thing it's going to connect to the ceiling and then for the chains we're just going to bring the chains up to the same height as our smooth stone is right there and there we go now there's only one more thing we have to do in here and it's build this little thing that's over here in the office in there as well so let's go ahead and just grab this right here we're just going to need some stone brick walls black concrete and item frames and we're going to come right over here right to this block that's i guess one two away from here break it black concrete stone brick wall and an item frame off the side of it and that's going to be greenhouse well no 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 that's not greenhouse. <laughs> we have to put a gold block inside of this item frame so take out a gold block 
and place it in that item. Now greenhouse is completely done. All right, guys. So next up, we're going to be building cafeteria and let you know, let's build storage right along with cafeteria. So I'm going to put cafeteria and storage. So we get this nice big square rectangle right here. I think I've been doing a pretty good job with not giving you the coordinates for the layout. <laughs> like I said, it's pretty easy, guys. So uh, we're just going to do the entire cafeteria and storage and then balcony will be for the last and then we got to do all the vents and then we'll be 100% completely done with mirror h cube so let's get started up on storage and cafeteria so of course we're going to come right over here now this is the best way this will be the best way to give you like an idea of how long and how big this is going to be because we can actually go straight off using med bay and comms right here that will make it a lot easier for us on this left hand side so we're going to come right over here to where our hallway is i'm going to come over right here i'm going to come out just three blocks as you can see it's just three blocks from communications right here so bring it all the way down until it is three blocks from communications one two and boom three now what we're going to do is just bring it all the way down to you know obviously this is where balcony is but we're going to bring it all the way down to right where this med bay bed is and you know i i'm scared for people in case they accidentally maybe made some rooms bigger or smaller than they should be so, you know, I'll just count this one out. I'll count this one out. But this one should always be at least three blocks away from it. So starting from here, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now, when you get to the 21 one, just place in a block right here. So, you know where storage starts. <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And now we can actually go ahead and do storage as well, because now that we place that block right there on the 21st block, all we have to do is come over here and count in one, two, three, and start here, and then place blocks going over to the 21st block, connecting them together. So now we got storage's layout done. So now all we have to do is finish up cafeterias. So the best way to do that is let's just count out to over there and then just connect those two corners together. So starting from here, we're going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 blocks. Oh boy. And now let's go ahead and just connect those two corners together all the way down, connecting both corners together. There we go. And then, of course, right here, off the hallway, we're just going to bring up a line of gray concrete. Just like we've been doing it this entire... Does this... I guess because it's on an angle right here, kind of looked like this side was bigger than this side for a second. So there is all of that done. Now, this wall right here is going to be very colorful. <laughs> it's going to have a lot of colors to it. So we're going to have to change a bunch of things here. But for right now, for this wall alone, for this wall alone, just come out with your gray concrete like this off the top, like how we cap everything off. And now just fill in this wall right here with white terracotta like this so you know what you know what we're gonna have to do it anyway so just fill up the entire side of it's not gonna go to storage right <laughs> i'm trying to make sure i keep this in line with everything so i don't accidentally ruin anything so right where storage starts so you know one two over like this and then bring it this way we're gonna fill in the entire cafeteria only area this whole cafeteria only area not this back wall over here for storage with white terracotta and then we're to cap it off with our gray concrete like we have been doing so we're going to bring this up right here actually you know what this is off this is off right here break this and bring it out one more like that there we go it should be five blocks one two three four five there we go yeah that was off by one so now we can bring up our white terracotta here and like i said we're going to fill in the entire cafeteria and cap it off with our gray concrete around the entire cafeteria not inside of storage There we go. And now for storage's wall, we're going to take out some end stone bricks and we're going to fill this in with end stone bricks, four blocks, and then cap it off with our gray concrete. There we go. So now we can get started up on the flooring for cafeteria and the flooring for storage. Storage is a little weird. I really like the cafeteria one, but let's go ahead and get started up on. So for cafeteria's flooring, you're going to need white concrete, light gray concrete, light blue terracotta, orange concrete, yellow concrete, and cyan concrete. So first things first, we're going to take out our white concrete, 
and we're going to fill in the entire floor with white concrete. There we go. Now, just like we did launch pad, locker rooms, laboratories, <laughs> we're basically going to be making those squares, the three by three squares of white with our light gray concrete border. So to start that off, we're going to come over back to our hallway over here. I'm going to start off right here with light gray. I know it's only two away from the wall, well, three. And now we're going to skip over our four. One, two, three, four, place another one. One, two, three, four, place another one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's the same as doing all the other ones we've been doing. One, two, three, four, perfect. Everything fits. And then we're going to come over to here. So just make sure you count over those one, two. So there's one, two there. Three, four, like that. So it should be one block in from this corner. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And place that in. And now we're going to do the same thing over here for this corner. So one, two, three, four. And you guess what we're going to do now is <laughs> fill in all of these lines with our gray concrete. So once you have your floor in place, now we can go ahead and take out our light blue terracotta, our orange concrete, yellow concrete, and cyan concrete. Now starting right from this one right here, we're going to break out the middle block of our gray and make a three by three of light blue terracotta. Just like that. Now we're going to skip over one of them, come over here and put in orange concrete. And I think you guys get an understanding of where this is going. So now we're going to skip over one from here and place in our yellow concrete. There we go. So it should look something like this right now. And now, once again, from this blue, we're going to skip over one. And right here, we're going to place in our cyan concrete. Then we're going to skip over one down to here, and we're going to place in yellow concrete. Skip down one again, and right here, even though you won't be really able to see it, you have to place in three orange concrete right there. So right now we're looking at something like this. Now right underneath our orange one right here, we're going to place in light blue, and one away from that one. Then right here underneath the yellow, we're going to place in orange. And if you notice, it's kind of going on an angle down like that. So this one right here is going to be cyan. This one right here is going to be light blue. And then that means this one right here is going to be cyan. And you guessed it, this one right here is going to be yellow. There we go. And then this one over here, there's going to be one more that you can barely see right here is going to be light blue. One, two, three, like that for light blue. And that's going to be the entire floor for cafeteria completely done. Now what I want you to do is take out some red concrete. Let me go over here and grab it real quick. Some, so we don't need this right now. We're going to need some more of those colors later on, but let's grab some red concrete and not along this back wall right here or this back wall right here. We're going to take red concrete out and we're going to go down this entire line right here with red concrete right next to storage. Do not go on this wall, but on this wall over here, we're going to do the same thing with a strip of red concrete. There we go. So we're going to have that line that will that little strip right there of red concrete going around the entire thing. Now let's go ahead and do the floor for storage. Now the floor and storage is going to consist of blue terracotta, light blue terracotta, and cyan terracotta. So we're actually going to start off in this back corner that's closest to communications right here. And we're going to place in some blue terracotta, four blocks of blue. Then we're going to do four blocks of light blue and then four blocks of cyan and you guessed it <laughs> four blocks of blue four blocks of light blue and two cyan and we're going to keep doing that all the way down so right next to the dark blue goes cyan and now if you want to make this super easy on yourself it's just like this floor where it kind of goes down on an angle 
so if you just follow right on an angle right here right next to this cyan is going to be of course light blue right next to this dark blue it's going to be dark blue like that it's going to go down on an angle that way so that means cyan goes here dark blue goes here and light blue goes there so if you get an understanding of what's behind dark blue then right here is where cyan is going to go because cyan will always be behind dark blue and now we could just go down the entire line once again dark blue i mean uh, cyan here that means light blue is going to go right here because cyan's behind i mean uh yeah. light blue is behind cyan <laughs> and then we're gonna do dark blue you know light blue and so on and so forth so go ahead and finish the rest of the floor just following it down on a diagonal and that's going to be the floor for storage completely done so now we're going to go ahead and break out this area right here so we can actually get into storage so to find the entrance into storage all you have to do is come right over here to this corner and we're going to count in four blocks one two three four break out these blocks right here and replace them with your gray concrete same thing on this side just count in four blocks one two three four break out these blocks right here and replace them with concrete and go ahead and remove all of this there we go and that's going to be the entrance into storage now let's go ahead and find the entrance into a balcony for our cafeteria now to do that we're actually going to use our colors on our floor that will make things a hundred times easier so right here we're going to break out right between where this yellow one is and place in a line of dark gray or i should just say gray concrete and then we're going to find right here next to the cyan and break this out and add in some concrete and we should have six blocks in between both of them one two three four five six perfect and go ahead now and break out all of this and this will lead out into a balcony and there's actually one more so let's go ahead and remove all this there we go and now for this one over here we just have to find the middle of orange right here and come out two blocks from here so one and two break this line out place in our gray concrete and then come over here we're gonna count over three blocks so one two three break this out and place in your gray concrete there should be a total of six blocks in the middle one two three four five six perfect and go ahead and remove all of these blocks like this there we go and now go ahead and take out some glass panes and place glass panes right here because there is a glass door that opens up right here but i'm not going to be doing any redstone or command blocks so for right now we're just going to put in some glass panes like that and last but not least we're going to do the color on this wall so starting over here on this little bit of wall, we're going to take out our yellow concrete and we're going to place a yellow concrete block here and here. And then right here, we're going to place in two red. And then underneath it, we're going to place in two cyan. So it should look something like that. Now over on this wall, we're going to place in a blue block here, here, and then up one like this. Then underneath it, we're going to place in a line of yellow. One, two, three, four four once you get to this one start going up into the wall and um, you're gonna we're gonna be breaking out a lot of this so you won't be able to really see it once we're done with it <laughs> then next up we're gonna take out our red concrete and come out one two then we're gonna come up one and then come out three one two three just like that and then over here since our you know what since our vending machines are gonna be going here you won't really be able to see it anyway <laughs> we're just gonna place in two yellow like this real quick on that side and like I said, since our vending machines are basically going to be hiding up this wall for our cyan, we're just going to go like this. Just bring a line, a line of cyan going all the way down like this, and then place one down here, and then right here, just place a right one like that. So it's going to look something like this. Don't worry. You, I know this looks really bad right here, but trust me, the vending machines will go and be going in front of it, so we won't be able to see any of this wall anyway. All right, guys, so now that we have our walling and flooring out of place for storage and cafeteria, we can get started up on the decorations. So to start things off, we are going to need orange terracotta, acacia wood slabs, campfires, item frames, flower pots, glass, a leather cap that is dyed red. We're also going to need an armor stand and oak trapdoors. This is just going to be for our emergency button, just like the skeld. So to start things off, let's go ahead and do our tables first. So if you did the floor correctly, it'd be really easy to find out where this table is going to go. But let's just come up here to right where our hallway is. And off this gray block, we're going to count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks to right here. And then we're going to take out our acacia wood slabs and we're just going to place in one, two, three, four, five, six 
take out your orange terracotta and place in a three wide stair well the staircase three wide table of orange terracotta and then place in your slabs right next to it and now we're going to build the same exact table we did here right next to it so one two three four five and six place in your three one two three then place in your slabs there we go now right here is where your emergency button is going to be going so for right now let's just go ahead and break down these two blocks and then right here we're going to place in a trap door at the bottom next up place in a armor stand and your leather cap on top of it and we'll come back to that later so now we get rid of that stuff right there <laughs> now right next to it we're going to skip over four blocks one two three four and we're going to place in two more tables so place in your six slabs your three wide table and your slabs and then do it once again right here just skip over a block and there's the tables for the cafeteria now on this table right here that's next to our emergency button we're going to place in an item frame one block over and place a campfire inside of it make sure it's turned this way because it kind of looks like pizza to me <laughs> i don't <laughs> it just looks like pizza to me and then right next to it we're going to place in a flower pot and then over here on this top table that's above the emergency button we're gonna do the same thing we're just counting one block item frame campfire turn it towards you and then place in a flower pot next to it and that's going to be those tables completely done so now we can go ahead and finish up this emergency button for the emergency button we're going to need glass we are also going to need a sea lanterns we are going to need a piston and we're going to need a lever next up place in your sea lantern right above your armor stand like that place in a glass block above that and then place a piston facing down into your glass block now go ahead and just send power to the piston place in another glass block send power to it and that's it now break these and there you go there's your emergency button that's inside the glass next up we're going to build our vending machines now if you're a minecraft bedrock edition and you have armor stands that have the little wait i don't even have an armor stand <laughs> let me grab an armor stand real quick and if you have basically the arms on your armor stand, you'll be able to do this vending machine. If you are on Java, you're going to have to stick with item frames or something like that. But this is basically for a bedrock edition. So what we're going to do is come right here between these three white concrete blocks. I'm going to take out white concrete once again and come over one, two, three, and then up to like that. Then at the bottom, we're going to place an item frame here and an item frame here. And now what we're going to do is break out this wall right here. Now, like I said, this is mainly a bedrock thing. <laughs> Next up, we're going to take out our armor stands. I'm going to face our armor stand sideway, like, si bleh, sideways like this. And then keep going through the armor stand's arm motions until you get to this one right here. And then we're going to do one more time. So let's go ahead and actually remove these blocks here too. Place in your armor stand. And then go through the arm motions until you get to the one where he's sticking his hand out like that. Next up, we're going to place in sea lanterns right above these armor stands. Take out a piston. Face two down send power to them like that and then place in two more no don't put a sea lantern in your hand <laughs> and send power to it like that and then break these two sea lanterns make sure you see the block and not the armor stand when you break it you do not want to break the armor stand now you can go ahead and put whatever you want inside their hands i recommend taking out potions and putting it in their hands or something that looks like a candy bar or something. I don't know. <laughs> but what I did was I just went into potions. And let's just take out a purple one right here. And how about this really light green one right here. And let's go ahead and put those in their hands. So put that in their hand. Put that in their hand. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and remove this right here. And this right here. Remove those blocks. And then yet again, we're just going to do it one more time. So, you know, let's just place blocks right above them. We're going to place in our two armor stands sideways. Go ahead and put the arms up the way we want them there we go same one with this make sure the arms are the way we want them perfect and now go ahead and break these two blocks letting them fall into place take out the items you want to put in their hands so let's say i want to put a bottle of enchanting in this one's hands and whatever this is <laughs> potion of swift falling there we go get rid of those take out your sea lanterns once again and we're going to push down two sets of sea lanterns into this armor stand right here so place your pistons facing down into your sea lanterns there we go and go ahead and just send power to them place any block here really doesn't matter and there we have it and then we can put our cap back over it like that and then this block right here is gonna have to be red no don't take it from me there <laughs> this block has to be red right above it 
And this one has to be white terracotta as well. And you know what? I have to put this one back in here as well. There we go. So it should look something like this right now. Take out your glass blocks now and just place them right in front of your potions. And now we're going to take out some black carpet and place that right above your vending machine. And that's what it should look like. And of course, if you're on Java edition, I did that. <laughs> I would just put an item frame back there, I guess, and put the potions in them. I'm sorry, but I guess Bedrock has those little arms. <laughs> so there's that first vending machine. Now for our second vending machine, we're actually going to need a couple of different colors. We're going to need red, cyan, and orange concrete. So now for this vending machine, we're going to place in two red, two cyan, and two orange like that. And then we're going to put our carpet right on top of it. Next up, we're going to need paintings and we're going to need black stone buttons. So take out some black stone buttons. Then right here, we're going to place in just a couple of blocks like this. And we're going to place in one high paintings like that. Make sure you get different ones as well. There we go. And then place your black stone buttons off of it like that. Then we're going to take out some trap doors. Any trap door will do. It really doesn't matter. But I like to use spruce trap doors. I'm going to place spruce trap doors up the side of it like so. And same thing on this side. One, two, three, and close them up. And that's going to be another vending machine done. If you want to build the same one like this, if you're on Java on here, it's it's absolutely fine. This this just looks cool. That's why I did it. <laughs> and then right here next to it, we're actually going to need a black concrete. So if I come over here, just take out some black concrete. We're going to come out three blocks from this vending machine. One, two, three, come up three black concrete on both sides. We're going to have to place in our carpet on top of it. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing with our one high painting. So just go like this, placing in one high paintings. I actually want more colorful looking ones. Uh, Yeah, that's fine, okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna place in our black stone buttons off the side of it, just like that. And that's gonna be all the vending machines in the corner, completely done. And I forgot there's actually one more thing we need to do on this wall. We're gonna come right over here and we're gonna count in three blocks, one. Well, actually just count in two blocks, one, two. And we're gonna place a smooth stone here, a smooth stone here, two slabs here and the black concrete block like that with an item frame inside of it and now this wall is completely done next up i want you to take out some stone slabs i'm going to come over here i'm going to come down right from the side of this table with upside down stone slabs all the way to the end of that table over there so go ahead and just bring this all the way down to the end of this table right here now we're going to take out some birch stairs and item place in birch stairs right here off of this block an item frame one block away from it and two item frames over here like that and then next up we're going to swing over here and in the middle of these blocks we're going to place an item frame and that's going to be all the decoration and that will be all the decorations for cafeteria so now let's go ahead and move on to the decorations for storage now the items we will need for storage are going to be stone stairs light gray carpet stone slabs bookshelves green concrete light blue concrete white concrete brown concrete and yellow carpet we're going to need a couple of other things as well but for right now we're going to go ahead and just build up our storage units so let's go ahead and start from let's start from the back over here let's just start from the back over here we're going to take out our white concrete and we're going to make a three by three box of white concrete right here in the back corner and then right above this we're going to place in three yellow carpet and down in the corner we're going to place in one more piece of white concrete now, right back here, we're going to take out some stairs. I'm going to place a staircase here, here, and here, just like that. Then we're going to place slabs coming out of these stairs, like so. Take out our stairs once again, place them upside down, one, two, and three, like that. Place in two slabs, one, two, one, two, one, two, just like that. And now in this corner, we're going to place in a two by two box of green concrete. Actually, this is supposed to be out one. Break those and place that like that. There we go. I was like, something's wrong here. <laughs> and then we're going to place in a light blue concrete right here. And now off of this green, we're going to place in stone stairs here, here, and right here. Now, right behind this thing, we're going to take out some bookshelves and place bookshelves right along this entire back area like that. Then we're going to take out our light gray carpet and place light gray carpet right along the entire top area of this shelf. And then three blocks in, one, two, three, break this, place a white concrete block right here. 
And then right in front of this staircase, we're going to place in a light blue concrete block. And that's going to be most of the back area done. There's a couple of other little things, but I want to get all the shelving in right here in the middle. And then we'll worry about all the little tiny details after. So next up, swing over here to this corner. I'm going to count over three blocks from this corner. One, two, three. Take out some light blue concrete and place it right here. And then we're going to make a two by two box of brown concrete. And then from here, we're going to count over three blocks. One, two, three. Take out your stone stairs once again and place a stone stair here, here, and here, just like that. And then we're going to skip over a block and do the same exact thing. One, two, and three, just like that. Next up, swing up over here. Come up three blocks and place in stone stairs upside down right here. Same thing on this side, place in your three blocks, place in your stone stairs upside down, just like that. Break these blocks, break these blocks, take out your slabs and place in three slabs. One, two, three, upside down. Same thing here. One, two, three, upside down. Take out your stairs once again, upside down stairs, upside down stairs. So right now we're looking at something like this. Then we're going to come out two slabs. I, it has to come over here. So yeah, two slabs, two slabs. One, two. One, two on every single one. All the way to the end. There we go. And then we're going to come up our three blocks right here. Here. And here. Placing your stairs upside down. One, two, and three. And then for this middle one, we're going to place in one stair here. And then go one, two, and three like that. Go ahead and break these blocks. They're no longer needed. And then place in two pieces of stone right here. So it should look something like this right now. Now we're going to take out our bookshelves and place our bookshelves in the entire center, except for the bottom area. So skip up one and place your bookshelves in like that and like that. So right now we should be looking at something like this. Perfect. Then right on top of it, we're going to place in a blue concrete block here, a white concrete block here. And we're going to have to place in two more things right here. But first, take out your light gray carpet and fill in the entire top area with light gray carpet, except for these two blocks right here. Just like that. Now we're going to come right behind it. And right here, we're going to make another big three by three box of white. So we're going to come over one, two, three, replacing in a three by three white box. Actually, you know what? I think it's only over two. Yes, it's only over two like that. And now we're going to place in that three by three box. Here we go. Take out your yellow carpet, place in three yellow carpet like that. So right now we're looking at something like this. Now we're going to do all those little tiny details and we'll be finished with storage. So to finish up storage, we're going to need a cauldron, a water bucket, an armor stand, acacia trap doors, item frames, iron shovel, lever, wither skeleton skull, skeleton skull. So starting right here, we're going to place in our cauldron, fill it with water, and then go around the entire cauldron with acacia trap doors, take out an armor stand, place it right inside the cauldron. If you're on bedrock, put make sure the arms are down on their sides. Then right up here where we didn't place those two blocks, we're going to take out our skeleton skull and wither skeleton skull and just face them in towards each other like that. Oop, right. There we go. Just like that. Then we're going to come back here and off the side of this blue block, we're going to place in a lever. And then off of this green block right here, we're going to place in an item frame with a shovel facing down. And that's going to be storage completely done. All right, guys. So all that's left to do now is balcony, the vents, and we will be 100% completely done so again i don't really think we need a, a layout i mean there you go here's a little top down view but it's very easy but instead of using dark gray we will be using light gray concrete i should be saying gray concrete <laughs> but we're going to come over here to the right hand side of cafeteria and we're just going to count out that way six blocks one two three four five six with light gray next up we're just going to swing it in that way it's if you did the doors right it should end up right here on the corner of this door but i'll just go ahead and count it out so in case you did accidentally mess up the doors you can actually go back and fix the doors so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three so it should line up perfectly with that door frame right there now we're going to go out that way seven blocks one two three four five six seven and now just wrap it over into the corner of that wall and now if you did the layout like i did you're gonna have to go down underneath break out the entire layout and replace it with light gray
Next up, I want you to take out some diorite walls and glass panes. And now on every corner, we're going to place in a diorite wall. So right here, right here, come all the way over here, place a diorite wall here, 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 and right here. And then we're going to put glass panes connecting them all together. There we go. Next up, you're going to take out some dark oak logs and spruce logs. And starting from right here, we're going to place in a line of spruce. Make sure they're facing the exact way I'm placing them in. And now you're going to interchange it to dark spruce. Dark spruce going all the way down until you reach this end point right here. Next up, you're going to take out some sandstone and fill in the rest of this area with sandstone. There we go. Next up, we're going to come back over here to the wood and we're going to break out this block right here and place in sandstone and break out this two right here and place in sandstone like that. Then right over here in the middle of this wall, we're going to count out three blocks. One, two, three, break it and place in our burst trap door right here for our vent. Now it's time to get started up on the decorations for balcony. So for the decorations, you're going to need a light gray concrete, iron bars, stone buttons, paintings, light gray carpet, levers, stone slabs, light blue terracotta, smooth stone, and a couple of other things. So let's go ahead and do that computer that's over here first. So we're going to place in some light gray concrete across this entire thing. Come up one. And then come down one right here. Then right here, we're going to get that two by one painting that is white and black. And we skip over one and get the set. Wow, very lucky. <laughs> and then the middle one, can I get even more lucky? Can I get that middle one? There we go, perfect. <laughs> We're gonna need the black and white one there as well. Then right here, we no, we no longer need those paintings, but we are going to need item frames now. So right here, we're gonna place in an item frame here. Skip over one, place another item frame in. Place your iron bars inside, make sure they are turned to the side. Place in a button. Place a lever facing towards that item frame right here. And then place in yet again another button right here at the end. And that's going to be the computer completely done. <laughs> yeah, I think I actually need those item frames for later, but whatever. <laughs> now it's time to build that really terrible looking satellite dish that I built. So here we go. So to start up on that satellite dish, we're going to take out some stone slabs, light blue terracotta, and smooth stone. So we're going to come right here to this corner. We're going to count up three on an angle. One, two, three. Place in some slabs here. And then come up three right here. One, two, three. Come down three right here. One, two, and three. Come up one, over three, up one, over three, and so on and so forth. Now we're gonna take out our light blue terracotta and fill in uh, this entire area with light blue terracotta. Then right in the middle, we're gonna take out our, sla our slabs once again and place in four. Come up two light blue terracotta, and then a smooth stone like that. You know what, actually, I think it's three light blue, then a smooth stone, yes. Okay, so yeah, three light blue, then a smooth stone. Now it's time to make that really, really terrible looking satellite. So to start things off, we're gonna take out our light blue terracotta and we're gonna place three right above that smooth stone like this. And then we're gonna place in three more right below it. There we go. Next up, I want you to take out a stone stair and place one upside down right in the middle of those two. Next up, we're gonna take out some slabs now and we're gonna place in slabs right here, two, three like that, and then come down underneath one with slabs. Then we're gonna come up a slab right here and up one like that. So it looks kind of like a full block, but it's not. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Just come up one like that. And then off the back of it, we're gonna place in, well, I guess you could place full blocks in here, but since we already have the slabs out, let's just place our slabs in like this. And then one slab underneath it right here. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, right over here. We're gonna place a slab in upside down right here and then place it up, upside down and then one up like that. And there is the terrible looking satellite dish. Kind of looks like a flower in a sense. <laughs> it, kind of, it really does. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna come back down here, place in a stone brick wall. Then we're gonna place in some blue terracotta here with an item frame off of it. And then a redstone torch off the side of that. And right from this corner, we're gonna place in one, two, come up two, over one, up two, over one, and then right into this wall with a smooth stone. And that's going to be everything. One hundred, you know, actually, yeah, I never put that trap door over there for this vent system that I did in the hallway. That's right. Come back over here real quick. I don't think I ever did this. And right from where this push is, we're just going to come over two blocks. One, two, break it and place in a trap door right here. That's going to be for that vent. 
right there. And that's going to be everything that is not event completely done with Mirror HQ. So if you don't want to do the vents, you can leave the video right now. It's completely up to you. But now I'm going to go through the painstaking vent system for this map that I cannot stand. <laughs> so we're actually for the vents. We're going to be. Oh, I never put the vent inside of uh, Greenhouse as well. But we're going to be starting from Greenhouse because Greenhouse, you have to bring the vent down a little bit further than everywhere else. So I started with Greenhouse first and then worked my way around so all the vents stayed at the same height. I wanted them to all be at the same height. Now the vent for Greenhouse is going to actually be right back here. So what we're going to actually do is break out these blocks like this, placing in like gray around the entire thing. And the vent's going to be right back here for Greenhouse. For your vents are light gray concrete, water buckets, oak signs and ladders that's all you're going to need for the entire vent system throughout the entire map now the reason like i said why we're starting with greenhouse first is because we have to make it go past these white blocks right here so come to the back of your greenhouse area and we're going to come right down here into the vent and we're just going to bring it down a couple of blocks we have to make sure we can bring it down past these white blocks right here so the roof see this will be the roof right here does not break those white blocks. That's the reason why I started with greenhouse first was just so it doesn't accidentally break anything. So we're going to bring it down. As you can see, one, two blocks. And then we're going to place our ladder right here. One away from the trap door. It should always be facing away from the trap door. And now what we're going to do is just bring this part down. And this is going to be the floor or vent. And it's going to be a one high gap. Now this should work on all versions of Minecraft. But if you are on Java edition, you can use a trap door to crawl. But <laughs> on Bedrock, you cannot do that. So we're going to place a sign here, a sign here. And then we're going to place our water bucket right here inside of that ladder. So now when I come down here, we'll go in the water. And now if we sprint, we can go through a one high gap. As you saw, we went right through that one high gap. And now we're just going to bring it out this way a little bit. And we'll bring it out this way a little bit. Now, I'm not going to worry about the uh, ceiling. Just make sure your ceiling doesn't break any of those white blocks right there. We're just going to worry about the flooring first, because like I said, this is the height we want to be at. This is the height we want to be at for all of our vents. So let's actually go find all of our vents first. So if we come over here to admin, here's our admin vent. We'll just open it up and that will bring this down like this and like that. And it should hook up over here to admin. So let's bring this line going all the way down and it should hook up right underneath there where admin is so hopefully we can get this right i would not want to build it again yes i think that's perfect okay so <laughs> this is the floor of our entire vent I, I want to put all our floors in first and then we can go ahead and go around adding everything else in so as you see it hooks right underneath to where admin is right here so that means this would be the height for admin and then we'll have you know our water and everything hook up into it right there so let's just leave this open right now and we're going to hook all the floors up first and then we'll do everything else. And you know what? I had to go back and I was right. I completely forgot to put the vent inside of office as well. So right here, off of this corner block, we're going to count in three, one, two, three. This block right here is where the vent's going to be going. I was like, there definitely is a vent in, <laughs> in office. Where did I miss this? So now we're just going to bring this down right here off of office. And then yet again, right over here from greenhouse, we just got to line it up with the vent at office. So let's just bring this down. I'm sorry if this is a little bit confusing. It shouldn't be too bad, though. Just got to line it up right there. Put office. There we go. And now just bring it down. Like I said, the vents are my least favorite part of Mira HQ. So there it goes. Right underneath the vent for office. And now all we have to do is hook these two together. So now just bring this line from right here at the corner. Of where admin is we're gonna bring this straight down and connect it right into office basically a big square of vents right here there we go so now those are all all three of these are now hooked together now we're gonna to have to hook office <laughs> up to laboratories which is right here so let's go ahead and just bring our laboratory vent down now to right here so now we can see where laboratories is at and we're gonna to have to hook up right here where office is into laboratories so let's bring this right out here. We've got to match it up perfectly. Like that. There we go. And now we can bring this right over into laboratories. And 
did I match this up perfectly? No, I was off by one. No, see, that's what I didn't want. I didn't, I didn't want to be off by one and then have to re-break everything, but I guess I'm going to have to. There we go. And then we're going to re-break all of this. I'm just getting all the floors in right now. Just going to get all the floors in. So now laboratories, I believe, should head over to decontamination. We have to bring it to decontamination reactor. And then we're also going to have to hook up decontamination and reactor to launch pad. It's... Oh, man, I hate the vents for this place. So where's decontamination's vent? It should be right over here. There it is. So we're going to need this vent. And we're also going to need the vent on the outside of decontamination as well, which will hook up to launch pad. So let's first just get the decontamination one, launch pad, and reactor room done. So where is reactor's vent? Reactor's vent is right here. There it is. So now we're just going to bring this down right here. There we go. So we have to hook this one, this one, and laboratories all together. So let's first bring this over to decontamination. So right from laboratories, we're going to come down this way and try to match it up over there to decontamination. This one's very far away. I hope I get this one right. Man, I hope I get this one right. <laughs> That's a far distance. Please, please be right. 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 Yes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Perfect, right underneath decontamination. That's exactly what I wanted. Next up, what we're gonna have to do is bring this line that we just built to right under where reactor is. So reactor is right there. I hope I got this right. So we gotta bring this line right down to underneath where reactor is. So bring this all the way down. Hopefully I got this right. Please, please, please. Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. <laughs> right underneath reactor, perfect. Now we're gonna have to bring this one over to launch pad. So where's launch pad at? Where is, there it is, there's launch pad. So we're gonna go inside, bring it down two sets of blocks. There we go. So now where is, there it is. Okay, so now we have to bring this down this way and right underneath launch pad, right underneath. I think I'm over one, right there. I think, okay, I think this is perfect. <laughs> I, I'm hoping this is perfect. I think it's perfect and we are perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> I don't want to keep doing this. I don't like doing this. Okay, so now we just got to bring this one over back to decontamination. It should it should hook right over near it. Yep, there we go. Just bring it straight back over to decontamination. And now we have to bring this one over to inside locker room. So this is where locker room is. No. There we No, stop doing that. There we go. <laughs> and we just got to bring this one right over to where locker rooms right here there we go and now from a locker room we have to bring it all the way over to <laughs> all the way over to balcony we got we got to bring this all the way over to balcony so here we go let's just come over to balcony first open up the door bring this down like this just so we could see it pretty sure i have to come out a little bit let's you know let's just go right from here no don't fall just go right from here and then work our way down this way. And that should hopefully help us line it up perfectly with here. So bring it out to right here. I believe it's right over this black concrete block. And that should be perfect. That should be perfect. So let's bring it down. All the way to balcony. Oh no. <laughs> One block short. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Redo. <laughs> one block out. Now it should line up. I thought it was with the black concrete block. It was with the white one. So now if I bring this all the way down, should connect right in. Perfect. There we go. So now it is now. Yeah, now it's connected to balcony. And now from balcony, we're going to have to connect it over to uh, the hallway that's right here. And then from this hallway, we're going to have to connect it back over into admin making a big circle pretty much around the entire thing so where is right here so it should be right off that black concrete block if i'm not mistaken let's bring this line right over here and it should connect right underneath it perfect there we go and now all we have to do is just hook up this one over there into admin so i'm pretty sure i went in here so it's Actually, I don't want it to go underneath the glass. That's right. I think actually I went straight out just so it didn't go underneath the glass. 
So we're just going to bring this down here and connect it into admin. Oof. What a chore. What a chore. But right now we should be looking at something like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is the, the best way I could think of showing how to do all of this. But we have all the floors in place. So now that we have all the floors in place, we can now go ahead and go around the entire build. Just go around the entire build now, wherever you have the floors hooked up to each other. And put the walls in and the ceilings in. So you just got to go around the entire thing. It should be only a one high gap around the entire build. So make sure you don't cut off any area that has this. And never put a block above where the floor is. Never put a block above where the floor is. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. Just go around every single area, filling it in. All right, so once you have all your walls around the vents, now the reason why I wanted us to do it this way in particular was because now all you have to do in case you made a mistake somewhere in the vents or maybe you forgot to put the walls around a certain spot of the vents, all you have to do now is just go to any part of the vents. We're going to put in the, the way to get into the vent and then you can tell whether or not you messed up somewhere in your vent. Like right here, as you can see, I messed up somewhere in my vent because I left the block right here. But if I break it, boom, I'm now inside my vent and fix it right there. We're going to place in our signs. One, two, three. Then we're going to place our ladder away from our trap door and then place water on our ladder. And boom, we can now go through the vent. And if you want to, you can go right through your vent as well. And you can also add in some lights too. It's, it's a little dark in here. Not too bad. But if you just take some sea lanterns, you can break out a part of it and make, maybe add some lights to your vent as well if you think it's a little too dark. And then obviously, if you can't get through a part of your vent, or maybe you, you go past and you see an entire open wall right here, you're like, oh no, I forgot a wall. You can go ahead and fix it up. But there we go. We can go right over to Greenhouse, which was the first one I added in. And you see everything is working fine over here. So let's go through our vent once again. Let's go over here. Maybe add in some light over here because it's really, really dark inside here. <laughs> Come down this way. You see my vent is working absolutely fine. And I did not want to do that, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. So to figure out where all the other events are and where you need to do them, you know, just go to the rooms that have the vents. So right here would be another one. As you see, I messed up. I forgot a block right here. Boom, break it. Just put it back. Find where the vent is. Put the ladder away from the trap door. And then place signs around the entire area wherever the vent is opened up. And then place water right off of that. And boom, there's another vent working now. So, you know, I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm not going to keep going through all the vents. I'm just going to go to every single main part that I went through. So we went to office. We went to admin. We went to greenhouse. We know those are all working. So let's go over to laboratories next. Let's see. Did I mess up laboratories as well? Nope. Laboratories is fine. So we're just going to place in our signs. One. Two. Place in our ladder away from our trap door. And place our water right here. Perfect. Now we can come out of laboratories. Close that up. Let's go over to a reactor next. So here is reactor. Everything is fine. So let's place our signs here here take out our ladder place it away from the trap door and place in our water there we go so reactor is fine let's work our way over to launch pad next so let's check out launch pad everything looks perfect let's place in our sign here sign here place our ladder away from our trap door and place in our water boom there we go let's go over to locker and decontamination next so here is locker everything is fine in locker so let's place our sign here sign here place our ladder away from it with our water inside of it there we go and next up we can go to decontamination let's go inside of it everything is fine inside decontamination sign sign ladder away from it and water there we go come on come on, come on. <laughs> and next up we got to go over to balcony and also the one over here in that hallway so balcony's next come down into balcony everything's fine here for me place my <clears throat> place my ladder one away with my water inside of it there we go and also that hallway that is over here let's open it up go inside everything is fine sign here sign here ladder water and boom we are now done with all of them so now if you want to like i said you can go around adding in maybe some sea lanterns too because it is extremely 
dark in here and the good thing about going through as well to add in maybe some light for this area is like i said maybe if you forgot to put in a wall somewhere you can now go through all the vents when you're adding in your lights so you can make sure you didn't accidentally misplace a block somewhere so you can't get through the vent or something like that but everything is looking good so you know i'm not going to go through my vent i already know mine's completely fine but i would just give your vents a once over maybe add some signs in there too because these vents are all connected to each other they're all over the place so you might have some signs in there as well because like i said it's a little it's just a maze i, I don't like this one it's a huge maze <laughs> but there you guys have it you are 100 percent completely done with building Mirror HQ from Among Us. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and you can also check out the Skeld if you haven't built that. I already built that entire map, and all that's left is Polis, unless they come out with some sort of DLC with more maps. Hopefully they don't, because I'm not done with Pol Polis yet. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like always, leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys, peace.